and no gunshots, but they get in low, low. YouTube, what is going on everybody? It's Eavesdrop, and I hope that everyone in the Eavesdrop Army is having an absolutely fantastic day. Now today, what we are gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at some of the craziest epic weapons that are available, at least in the beta, for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So you guys didn't know, there's all of these base weapons that you can find, you know, just by playing the game, you unlock them by playing the game, but there's also a ton of these variants of weapons that you can actually earn by using salvage. I could buy this one right now with 200 salvage. I bought the K-Bar Haste and I bought the K-Bar Radiant. Now I'm saving up for the K-Bar Horde, which is 1,600 salvage. So I don't know how much the epics are going to cost, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going through some of the craziest epics because some of these guns are absolutely insane. Like you, if you see over here, like each of these weapons have two abilities or extra abilities and then basically like gun perks. And then if it's a gray, then it only has one. We're going to be looking at the epics. So these ones are absolutely crazy. I can imagine that these are going to be like really, really overpowered, but since you can kind of earn your way to get them, it won't be pay to win, but I don't know. We'll have to see. So here we are. we're gonna we're gonna start with the NV4 flatline. So if you read its two gun perks, it has infinite damage range. Think about that for a second. Infinite damage range. So if you look down there on the range stat, it has 88 range, that's the base, and then you add 17. So that's 105 on the range stat. That's more range than the sniper rifles in this game. So take that, all right, infinite damage range, and then add on focus its second gun perk. Reduce idle sway while aiming down sights. So combine the already fantastic accuracy of this gun with infinite damage range and reduced idle sway, and then add a foregrip onto that. And I can't imagine how good this gun is going going to be. So let's move on to the Wrecked. Now I love how they named this because this gun is the R3K. So they added a T so now it says Wrecked and I find that hilarious. This one also has two of course and it has the breakpoint which is this weapon fires as a fully automatic weapon with reduced recoil. So if you didn't know this is a three round burst gun and it's a little bit slow like the burst the burst itself is like it's decent it's a decent burst but the time between bursts is so long that if you don't one burst someone in the first burst you're pretty much screwed. So this fires automatic with with reduced recoil is gonna be absolutely insane. It's gonna have less recoil than it would before and it's gonna fire automatic so it's gonna eliminate that big space in between but it does say down there in the stats that the fire rate goes down by four. So I don't know how much this is gonna equate to in game but I imagine it won't be too much. It's only minus four and as you saw with the flat line the range went up by 17 so minus four obviously won't be too big of a stat change but then it also has stockpile so it has increased ammo. So not only are you gonna be able to fire automatically but of course firing automatically you're gonna lose a lot of bullets but with stockpile you're gonna have increased ammo so you're gonna be firing the so many bullets down range and I can't imagine how insane I can't imagine how epic this gun is going to be and one last thing I want to say about this gun is that if you look at the camo on it these are all like normal right and then look at this red camo absolutely sexy so I, I really want to get this gun and try it out but uh it's gonna take a long ways and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it just in the beta because it's gonna take a lot of grinding let's move on to the K bar 32 invective so this has jawbreaker bonus headshot damage reduced damage towards legs so it sounds like they're gonna have the damage kind of on a slope so as you get towards the feet it's gonna be lower but as you go higher up the body it's gonna be a higher damage with bonus headshot damage not only that but you can also put on hollow point which is basically high caliber from black ops 3 so you're gonna be able to have super super insane headshot damage I don't know if you're gonna be able to kill in like one bullet to the head or what because if you have bonus headshot damage from this bonus headshot damage from hollow point I imagine it's gonna be one or two bullets and your opponent's just gonna be wiped out so pretty OP if you ask me we'll have to see how it actually plays out and then the second one is going to accentuate this even more so it has reduced recoil and it stacks with foregrip if you put on foregrip and you have this reduced recoil and you aim for the head and you have on hollow point with jawbreaker this thing is going to be a melt machine if you aim for the head so I can't imagine this gun that's why I've kind of been working my way up this one sounds absolutely insane so this one's a little bit weird so if you didn't know the type 2 can turn into basically dual wielding SMGs but with the butcher it has 87 as its gun perk. so that's the alternate mode now fires as akimbo shotguns which is i don't know how it's gonna work are they gonna be automatic are they gonna be I, I mean it's it's weird it's it's crazy as well as this camo is crazy it's bright orange which i love it also has readiness which is reload faster when the mag is empty so if you have an alternate mode that fires as akimbo shotguns and they reload extra fast and it stacks with dexterity this thing is gonna be absolutely insane so now we've moved on to the submachine guns we're on the arid cerberus so this gun has master key it has an underbarrel shotgun which i mean is it's it's an underbarrel shotgun it's kind of just like an added attachment
attachment, but then it also has reduced recoil. So this one, I believe is already one of the most, if not the most accurate of the submachine guns. I believe that's what it says in the description, but now it's gonna have reduced recoil and it's gonna stack with foregrip. So this should be a laser beam of an SMG. And then with the underbarrel shotgun, it's just gonna have that much more added effect. And it has a really cool green camo on it. So let's move on to the Ripper. So the Ripper is pretty cool. So it's literally the Ripper from Call of Duty Ghost. So if you like that weapon, I don't know if it'll like perform the same, but it looks exactly the same as well as it's called exactly the same thing. And this gun is called the RPR Evo. So it's the Ripper Evo, like the Ripper Evolved. So it has rapid fire, which is increased fire rate. Now, something I want to show or something I want you guys to notice is it only shows minus one on the accuracy. So that it looks like the accuracy won't go down much at all, but the fire rate is still going to go up by four. So the fire rate should go up quite a bit. The accuracy is going to go down just a little bit. Now that could also be affected by its second gun perk, which is focus, which is reduced idle sway while aiming down sight. So this thing is going to be more accurate than it would have been, but also just a tad bit less accurate because of the increased fire rate. I imagine once you put on a foregrip, it's going to be insanely accurate as well as it's going to have rapid fire on it. So I can't imagine how much this thing is going to just tear through enemies, especially since this gun has two different fire modes. So the last guns for the submachine guns are going to be the FHR 40 and the Karma 45. Now these ones have to be ranked up through the team. So as you can see, I'm on the Orion team initiative and the, what is it? The JTF Wolverines. So you have to rank up, you have to get to level 30 to get the windfall and you have to get to level 30 to get the Phobos. And we're going to read off what these absolutely insane epic weapons do. So here's the FHR windfall. So killing an enemy refills a portion of your health, which I think is absolutely insane. So if you guys have played the beta, you know that the time to kill is pretty low, which means you kill people really fast, kind of like ghosts. But that also means if someone, if two people are double teaming you, you're probably going to die. Like you might be able to pick off one, but getting bullets is going to be a real struggle. But with this gun, when you kill the first enemy, you're going to refill a portion of your health, which might give you just enough health to also finish off the second enemy. And maybe if a third enemy comes around the corner, once you've killed that second enemy, you'll have full health again. And you'll be able to kill that one. So I don't even know. And also to add on to that, it has increased ammo that stacks with extended mag. That's stockpile. So let's say there's just a line of people coming down a hallway and you fire, you, you just start firing into them. You're basically going to have, as long as you hit the first person, you're going to have increased health from them. And then once you kill the second person, you have increased health from killing them and then so on and so forth with all the more people that come down the line, down the hallway, whatever. And because you have increased ammo that stacks with extended bags, you're going to be able to just keep firing down range and just increasing your health all the time. So this gun's going to be absolutely insane. I can't wait to use all of these guns. They all sound incredible and they're going to be really fun to use, but really hard to earn. So I'm going to have to really pick and choose which ones I want to rank up. So here we go with the Fobo. So the Karma 45 is already a beast. And with these two extra perks, they're going to be, it's going to be even more of a beast. So these ones aren't anything crazy, like random. It's almost like getting two extra attachments in your gun, which would be like laser sight and like another long barrel. So it says rush down. This is greatly reduced spread while jumping and sliding. So that's going to be basically, if you put a laser sight on, it decreases your spread from really big to really small. So it's going to decrease it even smaller. It sounds like when you're jumping and sliding, which you do a lot in this game because it has Black Ops 3 like movement. Also it has sharpshooter, which has increased damage range, which stacks with long barrel. So it's going to add even more to the range. So what does it say the range goes? It says the accuracy goes up by eight and the range goes up by four. But once you put rifle barrel on again, it's going to go up by another four. And once you put the laser sight on again, it's going to go up by another four. So it's going to go up by 12 and by eight if you put on rifle barrel and the laser sight. So as long as you can keep your aim down and get your aim right with this gun, you're going to be deleting people off the map. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for this video. We went through all of the SMGs and all of the assault rifles that were available in the beta. And I can't wait to use each and every single one of these guns. They just sound absolutely insane. They sound like they're just going to shred through absolutely everything. And you know, a lot of them have some unique features like the underbarrel shotgun or the increased health when you kill someone. So those are going to be fun to use, kind of test out, see how much they actually work. Now, I only went through the SMGs and the assault rifles because that's the guns most of us are going to use. And this video is also running kind of long. So if you guys want to see the LMGs, the shotguns, all the rest of the guns, make sure to drop a like down below and I will make a video on those ones as well showing you guys all of the crazy epic weapons that are on those ones because those ones also have some absolutely insane things going on with them but if you guys did make it all the way to the end of the video make sure to drop a comment down below telling me which of these epic weapons you saw in this video sound the most overpowered or which ones you want to use most i know there's a lot to pick from but i'm sure you guys will be able to find a favorite and commenting that down below will just tell me you guys made it all the way to the end of the video but lastly if you guys have not already make sure to drop a nuke down on the subscribe button to become part of the eavesdrop army become an eavesdropper today but with that i want to thank you guys Guys, all again for watching. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Hope you guys have so much fun with this beta. But as always, I've been Eavesdrop and I'm out.